I, yeah, and I, I know this is a physical. Nine hundred BC. Yeah. Okay, so this is a physical manifestation of our link to our African, our Africanness, so to speak, for one for better word. There is, there is a, a matter. I, I know we are, we are, but like, probably like twenty minutes or so before um, close of play today, so to speak. Um, five to five to nine eight five one five. You can call us anytime, please. Five to nine eight five one five. Um, the issue of the family has been, uh, you know, really something that I have tried to study, um, because you find that some of our Vincent families are disjointed. The fractious nature of our society manifests itself. In, in, in the family. It's a unit in Native African society, um, your yeah, Native sociology. Polygamy apparently was practiced. Um, for example, the known grandmother I had, she didn't know her father, and she said that her, her stepfather was somebody called Papa Jones, and he was on the estate in Jackson Bay. And Papa Jones was used to as a, a study. You know, they take him from the plantation and they went around the plantation masters at the time, took him around various villages so that he can impregnate women because at the time, you know, that was part of the economic cycle. I'm glad you use the word economic, yes, now when I say yes, word economic weapon. That's right. You know, um, and so that's why we, we have so many relatives all over the place from Georgetown in the north, right again. Down to Shakopee, they're still in the north, but one way more than the the um, legal side of the island. So, as a consequence of slavery, um, it does appear that there is um, some aspects that we have come, we have come hold on, hold on, hold on, that we, for example, cohabiting as a ritual that recognizes the union between sexes and displacement of the African male, and that legacy still remains in the United The burden of supporting a family for the mothers who walk outside the house and still they were responsible for maintaining peace within the family. Women became more independent after a while and it did not allow mates to contribute to their general development. Males were displaced and invisible when they are to contribute to their relationship. And slavery, slavery brought trauma. Five to nine eight five one five five one one nine. Okay, I beg your pardon. Five to nine eight five one nine. Okay. Yes, it may be brought from trauma to African males identity of manhood, since this was the case by the definition that includes the thought, you know. And in many instances, there still remains a no commitment to the union of marriage. Some marriages. When you have co creating indigenous children. I taught a school some years ago in, in, in one of our regions called Dubois. It's where you have the Bookerman Government School. It's located in a rural village. Right. You know, that's cool. Really good school, anyhow. I went there from 1972. Because over on the other side, you had a Hope School that was burned down. So all those children, population, moved into that area. And um, I remember trying to, in those days, you could just fill in a few lashes over the shoulder or the back because it was permitted. And one child jumped up, you tell me, mommy. And another one said, ah, hey, you know, but you can't that you're beating. And I began to realize, wait a minute, this whole class was related. The whole class was related. So the procreating of illegitimate children, that's, that, that's another thing. Um, so the family structure in Africa, as compared to the dissension family of the post emancipation, is a whole new something that I think we will have to do. That's true. Mm -hmm. This aspect mm -hmm. of divide and rule yes. is not just political. Mm -hmm. The aspect of the violent rule was an aspect taken by all the European yeah. slave masters, mm -hmm. colonizers, mm -hmm. to make sure that our people, mm -hmm. generations after, yeah. never really know who they are. Mm -hmm. You can't trace back for any great grandmother. But there we go. Deliberately, 
there we it go. was an economic weapon mm -hmm. because at one point in time, bringing Africans across the Atlantic to enslave them and carry them became mm -hmm. dangerous and costly. Mm -hmm. So they started its slave farms in certain islands like Anguilla and other places. Mm -hmm. But to divide that, that thing to make you, it's, it's really intended to see your culture. Mm -hmm. So we don't. It's very difficult for you to find who your great great grandfather was. Mm -hmm. When the local people can check their ancestry, their bloodline, mm -hmm. right down to all the 13th, 14th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 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 Hmm. Other people. So deliberately, and Willie Lynch was one of the master men. But, 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 but here's something I took up on a letter, a, a PowerPoint presentation that I was guided to yesterday by one of my cousins. And I want to read it. Are there are any of the sentiments expressed here significant enough to remind us of anything? What are they, if any? Can we change our attitudes, our mindset towards the issue of blackness? And here the thing, after all these years, I'm beginning to read it, it might take me the next two, three to five minutes. After all these years and all we have been through together, we think it is appropriate for us to show our gratitude to all of you, to all of you who have done, all that you have done for us. We have chastised you. This is within an American context with the link letter. We have chastised you, criticized you. Well, this is from the internet, in the back, and within the context of the link letter. Punished you, and in some cases, even apologize to you. But we have never formally nor publicly thanked you for your never ending allegiance and support for to our cause. We will always be in your debt to you for your labor. You built this country, and that is the US, and I mentioned I'm wondering about the Caribbean. You built this country and were responsible for the wealth we still enjoy today. Upon your backs. Laden with the stripes, we sometimes had to apply for disciplinary reasons. You carried our nations. We thank you for your diligence and your tenacity. Oh, my goodness. I think yes, it, um, but the, but, the, but the, the issue is, is that um, here was Willie Lynch, Willie, the, within okay, the Willie Lynch letter that says, um, I could show you what to do, and that is to keep Beat them, keep them in subjection, you know what I mean? Uh, make them and, apologize. And make them apologize. Yes, bitch. Yes, that's right. Give me that again, brother Dave. Yes. And envy. And are we in the context of our world in the tension and fear, which in our vincentionness, so to speak, which in our Africanness, so to speak. Where are we talking about? And what is the root of it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. 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 My, my nakedness. That is not what he wrote in that challenge. But, but listen, hold on, hold on. That, that can be challenged, you know. That can be challenged. Hold on. But, okay, well, you're giving your, your own opinion. Go ahead, go ahead. Let, let, me, let, me, let me know how it is. Calvin and the Babylonian children of the 6th century plagiarized the Babylonian Talmud to come up with a mood of inferiority against Africa. I'm glad you knew the one. Mm -hmm. He came up with a compromise called Holy Bible mm -hmm. and he sorted racism right, basically with the story of Noah. No. Because that no. itself, no. No. I mean, this thing started from the 5th century, what they call, what they call medieval Europe or mm -hmm. the Dark Ages. Mm -hmm. If you want from, from the 5th, to the 15th century, and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. one thousand years, and the Babylonian century, the sixth century, right? Mm -hmm. And here we going on now. So they created all of the scripture, all of this, etc., etc., et mm -hmm. to tell that, mm -hmm. and to brutality. Mm -hmm. And then in, 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 
Five to nine eight five one nine. Call us at any time. Yes. Remember, he was in chain. Mm -hmm. Not you personally, yes. brother Dave. Yes. Not you yes. personally. Yes. Your ancestors yes. were in chain. Otherwise, yes. you would have died already. Yes. You were in chain. Yes. 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 Well, you had a representation of your ancestors yes. through your DNA. Yes. 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 Okay. Go ahead, brother. Yes. And analyze it. Mm -hmm. Imagine today if you are a human child. Many of us would have been dead already. Yes. Physically, many of us would have been dead already. We're just scratching the surface. So we are just know? scratching the surface of the surface. What did they do? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You realize that. It can't be Right. You got to put something. Right. You can't right. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, this way they introduce the virus. All right. Now let's see. Which let me just this one here. Which mind control is more dangerous than physical change? Now I want to unpeel, unpack something. And um, where are our businesses? Where are our black businesses? Having having taken all of that on board, yes. Where are our black businesses here in the Caribbean no islands? No question. Now you where? you spoke where? before. Yes. No, 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 no. Right. You spoke before about entrepreneurship. We can learn about entrepreneurship. Okay. Our yeah. people. Hold on, hold on. Our yes. people. Yes. Were natural entrepreneurs. They were entrepreneurs long before mm -hmm. Europeans started doing any business. Okay. Hello. So, so we are about solutions. That's so another thing. We are yeah, and we have a positive way. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's so we will be awakening. Uh, we are our ancestors. Right. So we are awakening yeah. this entrepreneurial. Spirit within us going yes, forward exactly. within the next 10, 15 years before we'll last, uh, last so long. Um, I, I, I know. Okay, okay. So, no, good. No. Now, to teach, to teach people what to do or to, to help us to, to get back to our entrepreneurial um, base, this is what um, this is about. Helping us to understand that this is the way we're going to do it. And let me just let me just say one thing with the idea. Yeah. And I in community. Ah, uh, okay. We come here to remind our people. I like that. I like that. I like that. You have to find it. So we share some of the knowledge that we have with our brothers and sisters. You know that to open up doors. To open up doors. We can now here. And I in community group. So. Okay. And I come to remind everyone that all of us have the ability to get the mm -hmm. Okay. 